better woman here. A lot of us we just pick up uh, pieces of of uh, wood uh, when we go for walks or it's just lying around. Today I want to show you what you can do with those pieces that everybody considers to be junk. Um, we're going to make a rustic farmhouse style um, key holder with a little special detail in it. And this is what you'll need um, are is your handsaw for those people who don't have power tools. Uh, we have a screwdriver. We're going to need a couple of screws. Because the wood is going to be very rough, uh, depending on what you find, we're going to have 60 grit and maybe yeah, and 100 grit uh, of sanding paper. If you have a sanding block, you can, need that, you can use this. Or you can just use an extra piece of wood that you, that you will use to sand. We'll need a hammer. Uh, a very long nail is going to be uh, used for your pilot holes and of course a little um, plier to hold your nail in place for you to bang it into the wood pieces. You will also need um, two little um, hooks to hang it up. You'll need some, some hooks. And, um, yeah, and that's about it. For those that have power tools, um, what we'll need is a jigsaw. We're going to need some screws. We have these two uh, plates for hanging a few um, hooks. We're going to need um, two wood oh, different um, uh, uh, sizes of wood. Uh, uh, drill bits. We're going to have a countersink. We're going to, have, of course, have our drill um, and our sander, right? And of course, we're going to have um, 80 grit, 60 grit, um, and this one is 120 or 100 grit paper. So easy as pie. Now we have to sort our pieces of wood. And you have to see what's going to be suitable for uh, this particular project. All right, let's have a look. And we're seeing there's some that have nails and stuff in that might be useful. So we might just have to, to uh, take the nails out. So I'm going to take all the smaller pieces. Okay, I think that's not going to be of use. This is too small for maybe another project. And then, okay, we've got two longer pieces. That's good. Okay. So you will inevitably have to cut some of these pieces. So let's make our arrangement.
pieces together and this is sort of the look that you want you can see it's very rustic um, it's your particular decision whether you want to level this out and make this even on both sides we decided as our creative uh, juices were flowing that this is how we would like to to keep it and um, the next thing to do is to sand it off but before we do that I just want to give you a little advice you'll see that because the boards are now not even we were able to manage to get it all even on the back and we did that by the by the use of uh, little blocks so from the off cuts we will just place it underneath place it underneath so that you can just uh, get a nice um, grip on it and then drill it in so that's a little tip for you all right now the next thing we need to do uh, before we do our final sanding is to put some hardware on um, we have these two um, hooks that I picked up somewhere I'm always foraging for things and um, we are now going to use our two drill bits because I don't have a forstner bit um, we're going to use the wood screw uh, drill bits one for there one for there so that this would sit nicely flush against the wall first thing to do let's take our tape you can re remember our first video um, we did a situation where we were able to do exact markings by putting the tape on mark in this case you can actually just turn it over punch it through okay by punching it through I'm getting exactly where the marks are and when you paste it down you can actually just transfer your points All right I used a, a marking gauge last time anything that is sharp like a nail you just press it in there take it across see if we can get a very nice even sort of situation take that over from that side and here we make our marking all right so that gives us very nice markings to do all right so let's get to drill those and then we will we will then go and Alright, so we are still busy attaching our our uh, hook and we need to just get to mark out where we need to drill. Same here on the side. We just color that area in. Okay, and then I want to show you my little hack. If you don't have a Forstner a drill bit and you just take your very large um, you need to find a drill this is a number 10 and this number 10 is fitting into sort of this larger uh, drill so what we're going to do is we go to the bottom and we just drill out a little bit in same on the other side Now we change drill bits to a, this is a number seven. Okay. And we go to the top piece and we, sorry, hold on, drill about in there. see that when we put um, this over that we have hanging space in there all right so now we just need to clean out a little bit in there and attach this all right 
so we've now put our little picture hanging things in and um, here we have our final product now we just need to go and clean up some more but if you like the rustic look um, I think we just need to fix a few things you see there's a few screws going through you can also once you've done sanding this you can stain it to give it one color or you could leave it like this and just give it a nice varnish and hang it up on the wall. All right, so your final step is to put your key rings in. I found these very old fashioned styled um, hooks that I will be placing in. And um, we can just randomly, because this was pallet wood, um, I'm just going to use the whole existing holes that's here but if you have wood pieces that do not have that you can just simply go ahead and um, use whatever you have available all right one last one in here I think we we'll leave it at that excellent and there you have a lovely rustic piece of decor that you can use in your house. If you've liked this particular decor piece and you want us to do some more, please subscribe below and leave a comment from Kubeta Woman. Love and kisses, always.